Sean Hart here at the Team Talk Awards. Sean, 41 years you've been in Canada, but uh, you're home for this event this year. Well, I am, uh, Paddy, and uh, to be honest, Noel McGinn has mentioned the event to me for a number of years. Uh, it just didn't work out, but thankfully this year uh, it worked out, and I'm so delighted to be here. It's an incredible event. A special year for you as well. You've just been confirmed as the chairman of the Canadian board. Well, that's right. The elections were last week, uh, chairman of the Canadian board, the vast country of Canada. And succeeding a man, Brian Farmer from Clonmore, who spent 21 years in the chair out there, so I have big shoes to fill. How did you get involved in the GA over there? Did you get involved as soon as you went over? Well, you know, the, the GA is all that we know, Paddy, you know, like, uh, so once you leave your homeland, the first thing that you look for over there is to find a GA club. All the lads do that. They do it to this day. You go, you find your uh, club, you start playing, and it just continues on from there. You've been involved in the GA all your life, of course, from here, of course, as well. And uh, Tyrone still holds a big affinity for you. You always are checking the scores and checking how they're doing and, of course, how the local teams are doing. Well, that's right. You know, back uh, when we originally went to Canada, you'd have to go and find a, a coin box and phone home later in the afternoon just to see who had won or lost the game at that particular time. Uh, but now with, with your... Uh, the, your Q101 back in the day and then team talk. Yeah, we can sit down now, not just county games, we can now hear our local club games and it's incredible. So fair play to all that have got uh, around to projecting that across the world, if you will. Uh, it's, it's amazing. And, and something like team talk, Mike, it's so special to people who are living away. It's probably more important than we even think. Well, especially if you're from Tyrone, I think you're always going to get a shout out on Team Talk Mag. But as I said, it's important that we're able to sit down on a Sunday morning and listen to you know, our junior finals, senior finals, all the way down. Fantastic job. Now, and uh, I, I know you're strongly involved in the GA, but there's also an Olympic link coming up in the family now very shortly, and that will be extra special, won't it? Well, that, that's right. You know, um, my, my cousin Kieran Hart, who long-time goalkeeper for Tyrone back in the early 70s, uh, living in Cork, and his two sons, uh, their twin, twin sons, are both playing on the Irish uh, field hockey team. Their goal, the goalkeeper in particular, David Hart, is just probably the best uh, goalkeeper in the world right now. So it's very special, and they're heading to the Olympics, and it's a, it's a, a story well worth following. Absolutely. Uh, it's been a lifetime since they were there, of course, since the Irish team were there. And I know they had to rely on, on New Zealand and Australia, the outcome of that game, to get there. Extra special for them to, to, to finally qualify. That's right. And David himself uh, had a, a fairly substantial contract as well. I think he was playing in India there uh, as, in goals for one of the big clubs out there. So, yes, they're doing, they're doing very well. And they have played a bit of hurling in the past as well. Man, wouldn't it be great to see David Hart playing in goals for Cork? It would be ideal in the hurling. Absolutely. And, and finally, in terms of team talk and the awards here and the, and the event and the, the culmination of a, of a year's achievement for, for young Gaelic footballers, it, it's so special to them, isn't it? It really is. And, and, you know, first and foremost, you know, you really have to go back and take a, a look at the sponsorship of the event. You've got to look at what O'Neill's does for this event. The work that's been in by people like Noel McGinn, uh, uh, it's very, very special. And to have the players acknowledged as being best in class, uh, is fantastic. It's, uh, it's fantastic to be here and it's fantastic to see all the players out and around the lobby. Uh, looking forward to a great night. You're a real staunch Tyrone man and of course you were one of the people responsible for the team that went out to, to Canada all those years ago as well, the Tyrone team, weren't you? You were involved in that at the, the Sky Dome all those years ago. Yeah. Well, I have to say that Tyrone have been very good to me as well because if you, if, if you go back and you look at this thing, how, how many clubs from Tyrone, like cl clubs themselves, we've had the Moy, we've had Cal Island three, three times, We've had Derry Trest, we've had Derry Lachan. So these people choose to come to Canada. But yes, in, in uh, 89, 90, uh, it was very special when the Sky Dome Games came around and we hand-picked uh, Dublin and Tyrone to play there. It was fantastic. Nice staying up affair too, wasn't it? Well, that's right. It, 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 there was 35,000 people there uh, on, on or around St. Patrick's Day. And I think, you know, that is the one event that I really believe should still be going. But Tyrone put in a great show that day. We lost by a point. You know, the Dublin lads, the Tyrone lads got along so, so well. But it was a special time for, for GA in Canada to be able to say, these are our games, you're in the best stadium in the world at that time. Uh, and uh, Tyrone were really, really great. What's your aim uh, as Canadian chairman? Have you anything sort of in place in your own head at this stage? I, I think um, you don't want to try to make too much change uh, right out of the gate. But it, what I would say is that the, there's a huge uh, void there at the minute for... Um, 
Canadian development, the Canadian kids that are growing up. Because you know, my own son, my own son plays, and many of the many of the other uh, people that are out there have Canadian kids playing. But we need to enhance on that, build it into something a little bit bigger. Uh, have those Canadian boys out there and competing for their place. And we'll see maybe a, an Orchard visit, uh, maybe a Canadian Irish visit, maybe. Well, yes, uh, the, the 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 international games that started last year in Abu Dhabi. Uh, are, are coming to uh, uh, Dublin in, in August of this year and that's at the request of Aegon O'Farrell because of 1916 he wants the, the, the international games to be in uh, Dublin so yeah we're all heading back to Dublin in August uh, of 2016. You might have to stay on maybe a couple of weeks after that maybe of Tyrone progress? Well I, th I think they, they will and I might, I might mention it this time too that we are, our, my own club in Toronto had its 50th anniversary banquet this year and we were delighted to have uh, Mickey Hart and Marion out for that there. Uh, great stuff, it was a fantastic time and I hope, I hope to see Mickey over the weekend as well before I head out. But Sean, thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of your night. It's a big occasion, isn't it? Very good, it's looking great. Thanks a lot, Paddy.